Many of you may have seen an alarm which appears in the top of the alarm window saying Reset Contamination Alarm. Probably many of you have not known what this alarm is or what to do about it. I'm going to show you how it happens and how to prevent it. For demonstration purposes, I'm going to set the peak end expired pressure and the peak inspired pressure to levels that you will never use in your practice. Often, when you need to suction the baby or something has happened, you disconnect the flow sensor from the ET tube and you might leave it lying in the bed whilst you suction or do whatever needs doing. When you go to reconnect your baby and you cancel the current alarm, you get the message Reset Contamination Alarm. Contamination usually means something that is contaminated, unclean or dirty. In this case, it means that the flow sensor has become saturated with flow. What has happened when you have disconnected the patient from the flow sensor? The flow has increased through the flow sensor. The flow sensor knows that it has to reach a certain pressure. And when it can't do this, it assumes that there is something wrong with the flow sensor. The flow sensor has merely become saturated with flow. And in this situation, all you need to do is press on the message and recalibrate the flow sensor. I'm going to do this now and then reconnect the flow sensor. Now I'm going to show you how to prevent this alarm. When you're going to disconnect the flow sensor, disconnect the patient circuit first and then the patient. To reconnect, connect the patient first and then the patient circuit and now you will not get this reset contamination alarm. I'll just reset these two pressures to a more reasonable level. And I will show you this once again. To disconnect and reconnect the flow sensor is as follows. You disconnect the patient circuit first and then the patient. Once ready to reconnect, we first reconnect the patient and then the patient circuit. By doing this, you should not have to recalibrate the flow sensor unless it has been disconnected and reconnected in the wrong way or there is a real issue with the flow sensor, for example, clogged with secretions.